Hey, welcome back. Uh, what you see here is we're operating live from the Sure to Grow Grow Room, and normally you're going to hear this incessant buzzing and humming uh, with the can fans moving all the heat out from the lights and uh, the oscillating fans putting some fresh air over our plants, but as a result of the fact that we're making the shoot today, we have to turn everything off. What we're going to be looking at, though, is we're going to be looking at a couple systems uh, that are common in the market for taking uh, transplants to their maturity for short-term crops. In one of the previous videos, we looked at how to seed and germinate plants in our cubes. And now what I'd like to explain to you is some options of where you can place those cubes to grow those seeds out. What we have right here is a standard NFT system, or nutrient film technology system. And back here in the corner is an example of the reservoir that feeds the system. This is a 15-gallon reservoir with a 400 GPH pump, and that's a gallons per hour pump. And the way this system works is it actually pumps that nutrient solution through this black tube located underneath the table to a series of feeders. Each one of these feeder tubes is going to fill these troughs with a very thin layer of nutrient film, uh, which is just a really thin bath of water. And since it's constantly recirculating, there's a tremendous amount of oxygen in it. This system is designed to grow um, a myriad of greens, but predominantly we grow lettuce. Um, so what I'm going to take here is I'm going to take some cubes that we planted up, and we're going to transplant them into the system, and we're going to grow them out to maturity. What I have in here right now is a variety of lettuce, and I'm going to be planting some Asian greens, something known as Hong Sai Tai. But there's something else that you need to be concerned with when setting up a system. It's not just getting the system. If you buy a system new off the shelf, you also have to make sure that it's clean. But if you buy it used, you really have to make sure it's clean. I suggest using some type of uh, food grade 35 percent hydrogen peroxide or super oxy to clean out your system to ensure that there's no type of bacteria buildup located in either the manifold or the tubing. You also need to be aware that you're going to have to have some type of uh, supplemental lighting. Uh, what we have above here is a, a hydrofarm reflector with a can fan and some duct work. The duct work is here to keep that lamp cool. That's going to extend the life of your lamp by about three times. And the type of lamp I'm using in here is a standard high intensity discharge lamp. There's two types that you are going to be dealing with if you're going to be looking at systems. One is high pressure sodium or HPS, and the other one is going to be MH or metal halide. In this circumstance, we're running a metal halide lamp in here. That's going to provide us with the optimum wavelength of light, which is about 62 to 6400 Kelvin. And that's a very blue end of the spectrum. Plants love this during vegetative growth. It helps them grow nice, full, bushy foliage. So how do we plant in this system? Let me show you. What I have here is a tray of transplants that are ready to go in here. These are planted in the sure to grow one inch cubes. And the reason I like these sure to grow one inch cubes is, first of all, they're designed to fit seamlessly with the system. I don't have to cut them or manipulate them. They slide right in. They're designed to work with existing products on the market. What's also great is, look how healthy these transplants are. Uh, very stout, sturdy stalks. Uh, the petioles are nice and green. Uh, providing these plants with everything they need in early stages of life to provide them with a great jump start. So when we put them into the system, when they grow to maturity, they're going to be full, they're going to be vibrant, they're going to be nutrient dense, and they're going to be delicious. So how do we do it? Well, if you look at this system, it's composed of a trough and a lid. And this lid is perforated at the end with a feeder tube. So what we actually have to do to start is pop this lid off. It just snaps right on. So once I pop this lid off, I inspect the tray to make sure that it's clean. And this one obviously is. I can pop this lid right back on, making sure that it fits snugly. I take this cube. Look how nice it fits, designed specifically to operate in pre-existing systems. And it's just this easy. Take that cube, pop it right down in the top of that trough. Wow, that's fast. Well, we had about 30 seconds, and I've already got four in the trough, 35, five in the trough. We're talking seven seconds per plant. You can't do that with a myriad of other. If you try and plant it up in vermiculite, if you try and plant it up in some type of loose granular material, you'll be here for a half hour or more. 35 seconds, seven plants. Pretty amazing. So let's review. We need a lamp, in this circumstance a metal halide that's been ducted. We have an NFT system, which pumps nutrient water through this tube, into these feeder, feeder lines, which then fill these troughs. So the question then needs to be, we have the lamp taken care of, we have the system taken care of, how do we deal with the nutrient? Well, in crops, short-term crops like lettuce and other greens, 
Uh, I like to dose this tank at anywhere between 9 and 1100 parts per million. So you dose this tank so you get to be about 900 to 1100 ppm. And how do you test that? You test that with a nutrient meter. You can either use a dipstick or a truncheon, or you can use a continuous monitoring meter, which is what I prefer. So let's review. SEG cubes will fit seamlessly into your system. This allows you to plant more efficiently and decrease your setup time. SEG cubes also provide your roots with optimum aeration and water retention. This allows you to grow healthier, stronger, more vibrant plants. The product itself will not shed or fall apart. The structural integrity remains intact throughout the entire growing cycle. This allows you to perform substantially less maintenance on your system. Your pumps are not going to clog. Your spray lines will remain clean. And most importantly, SDG is the most time efficient and clean and easy product available. So there's really no reason not to use this product. Give it a shot. So if you have any questions regarding the entire line of Sure to Grow products currently available, please view our webpage at suretogrow.com. And if you have any questions regarding the use of our product in any growing system, please contact me at grow at suretogrow.com. Have a great day.